Hello folks. So in this video, I'm going to explain uh, log base stand transformation to uh, basically cater two objectives. Please note that I, I will be calling log base 10 uh, as the log 10 in the remainder of the video. So number one objective of the log uh, 10 transformation is to treat outliers by doing this log 10 transformation instead of just deleting those outliers. Reason being, sometimes uh, these outliers can be novel and uh, you know are helpful in nature. That is outliers which are judged to be good data rather than uh, you know uh, doing any damage to the data or causing any issues with machine learning uh, predictions. Secondly, if we have a positively or a right skewed data, then uh, we can use log 10 transformation to make data which is normally distributed. So please watch this video till the end uh, to get a complete understanding. Folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like uh, machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, Hadoop and virtual reality as well as cloud computing. You can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes hands-on approach to build AI based product and application. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to this channel or if you are already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive uh, the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So in the previous video, I covered numerical techniques concerning outlier detection and treatment using methods such as z-score as well as interquartile range. As a part of outlier detection, as well as making our data normally distributed, we can make use of statistical techniques like log transformation, inverse transformation, square root transformations, etc. So from parametric uh, statistics perspective, it's a data scientist dream that uh, they always get data which is normally distributed so that they can uh, you know, build near perfect machine learning model. But that's not always the case, you right? So we generally utilize methods like skewness or kurtosis to see if the variable or data is normally distributed or not. Log 10, transformation is used when we have positively skewed a variable or data that is when we uh, have data which is highly skewed to the right hand side and uh, you know that is where we then want to transform it into variable or data that may be normally distributed. If you don't know uh, what is skewness then let me give you a brief overview of it. A curve or data is negatively skewed when the long tail is on the uh, left hand side of the peak. In such kind of uh, data, the mean also stays on the left hand side. Okay, A normal distribution on the other hand is not skewed at all. It is perfectly symmetrical and the mean is exactly at the peak. And uh, as far as positive uh, skewness is concerned, uh, it is something uh, when the long tail is on the right hand side of the peak. So I will show you those curves. Uh, I mean, how those curves look like in a while. So the log uh, logarithmic uh, log tan uh, uh, transformation or a natural log transformation or log base two transformation is a strong transformation with a major effect on distribution shape. Okay, It is commonly used for uh, reducing right skewness and is often appropriate for measured variables. Okay, So it cannot be applied, uh, I mean uh, the log transformation cannot be applied to zero or negative values. If you include zero values and apply log transformation then you will get negative values. Okay, So keep in mind. So as mentioned previously, uh, we have another transformations uh, uh, at our disposal such as inverse transformation, square root transformation, etc. Please note that positive or negative skewed data interfere with uh, you know running a parametric statistics. So let's take a closer look at the data first. Uh, let me open the Excel sheet uh, where I have this data. So I have uh, three variables here. You can see uh, the negative skewed, positive skewed and normally distributed columns, right? So negative skewed uh, column shows negative skewed data, 
positive skewed uh, column contains positive skewed data and normally distributed contains normally distributed data so you can see uh, the associated curves as well on the screen right so these are the curves and uh, you can see that this this is the negative skewed data wherein the tail is on the left hand side so okay, okay so i explained earlier if the tail is on the left hand side that means it is negative skewed data if let us say a tail is on the right hand side it is the positive skewed data so you can see the graphs here right so this is negative skewed graph uh, data and uh, this is the positive skewed data graph okay and how does the normally distributed data looks like it looks like something like this okay so it is kind of a symmetrical graph right uh, if you uh, draw a line in between the left hand side will be the exact replica of the right hand side so it kind of a symmetrical graph that's why it is called as normally distributed graph okay so let's write some code in fact i have already written the code i will explain the code uh, to uh, you know uh, how to perform the log uh, base 10 transformation on positive skewed data so let me open the jupyter notebook first so here is my jupyter notebook okay and uh, in the first cell i have uh, basically imported some uh, important libraries like pandas numpy and seaborn and uh, in here i also created the data okay so this is the data uh, which i was referring in the excel sheet okay so this is the same data so as you can see here so this positive skewed data okay which i have contained uh, which is contained in this particular column this is the same data being referred here okay so i just copy pasted this data here so i created a list of it and then i created a data frame out of this list okay and uh, named my column so this is the data the first parameter is data for this data frame and the second parameter is column so i gave a name as positive skewed okay so when i uh, printed the data frame you can see the values here right and uh, in the next cell i calculated the uh, basically uh, not calculated i actually drew a, a box plot here right so you can see this box plot very well here so i created this uh, box plot to see uh, the outliers uh, how many outliers do we have and we can see that there are three outliers here right and um, now uh, as mentioned earlier we have two objectives here number one is treating these kind of outliers using uh, the log transformation technique as well as converting the right skewed data to normally distributed data okay so that was the second one so we have this right skewed or positive skewed data we want to convert it into normally distributed data like this okay so for that purpose also we use log transformation okay and uh, in the next cell i just try to show the graph associated so you can see that uh, when i plotted the graph on this uh, particular column uh, right skewed column you can see that it is right or positively skewed graph or data okay so in the next cell i created the input data frame for um, you know this uh, for applying the uh, log transformation so what i did was i just copied this data frame into a new variable name input array okay and i printed it so it's the same data so this will be my input data because i wanted to keep intact the original data frame that's why i copied into this new data frame or variable okay so here i copied the data and uh, you can see the values are ranging from 1 to 130 okay one is the minimum value 130 is the maximum value right and in the next cell i just applied this log based and transformation here as you can see that i have applied uh, this log 10 transformation okay on the input data which is what which i have created above right this input array okay by copying data frame so i applied log turn transformation here so i used a numpy function um, uh, log base 10 uh, you know 
uh, on this particular data right so based on our need we can either apply natural log uh, using numpy function log only so we can remove just this 10 and it will be treated as natural log or with base 2 okay so if i replace this 10 with 2 then the function will be treated as log base 2 okay so we can make use of this numpy function please note that the output uh, uh, when we generate this output we saw that the values are ranging from 0 to 2 positive okay so more than 2 so 0 to 2 basically you can see that uh, values are ranging from 0 to 2.11 Okay, so in the next cell, I just uh, basically uh, created the box plot once again. Okay, here you can see I created this box plot on this transformed data, which is log base 10 transformed data. So I applied box plot on this uh, data. Okay, so on log base 10 transformed data, I just uh, plotted this box plot. Okay, and you can see that uh, you won't be able to see any uh, outliers here now okay so so our objective number one was to uh, basically treat the outliers so we can see that all the outliers are not visible now since each of them are treated very well using log based and transformation okay and in the next cell i have uh, basically uh, created the line graph on uh, transformed data log transformed data values and we can see that the right skewed data is transformed to fairly uh, or close to normal distributed data here okay and this was our objective number two right so we utilize log based and transformation to basically delete or uh, not delete to transform the uh, data so such that uh, our outliers can be treated very well so we can see here that and the number two objective was to transform the uh, right skewed or positively skewed data to normally distributed one. So we also did same uh, using this uh, log transformation. And so please note uh, that uh, you know I first transformed the data using log 10 transformation, and then after that I plotted the box plot to show you that outliers are treated very well here. Secondly. I showed you how to plot this graph on the uh, transformed data uh, such that the right skewed data is transformed into a normally distributed data. Okay. And lastly, in the last cell, I what I'm doing is I just uh, reverted back the log values, log transformed values to original values. Okay. So uh, in some cases, we want to uh, basically uh, revert back to the original value from the interpretation perspective so uh, in case somebody wants to uh, see how can we interpret the transformed values uh, as so he can do the same by transforming um, or by uh, reverting back the transformed value into original one by basically uh, using this function here right so what I'm doing here is I just raise 10 to the power log base 10 values as shown here. So I raised uh, 10 to the power log transformed values. So, okay, this is the way we use uh, do it. Okay, we can use this uh, particular method to re revert back the transformed log transformed value to the original one as we can see here. So folks, this is it for this video. To conclude, I explained about log transformation to treat the outliers mathematically as well as transform the positive skewed data to normally distributed data. So let me ask you a question from today's video. Uh, what are the other techniques I can use to perform several other types of transformation? Please post your comments in the comment section given below. Uh, so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also uh, ask your technical questions in the comment section given below. Uh, I will be glad to answer your questions. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.